You have a problem with authority. Some, some, somehow the rules do not apply to you. You believe that you are special. You have a problem. Hey, all you art fans. It's Doug here with Keep Art World. I am going out to see two exhibitions. That's right, two exhibitions at two of Bristol's major exhibition spaces. First off, I'm gonna head over to Spike Island. We've got Candace Lynn, who's built a trebuchet to represent throwing plague corpses over the village. And all alongside that is the Nosferasta, which is a story about a colonial vampire who lives to this day. How do you get rid of colonialism when it's in your blood? After Spike Island, we're gonna be heading just across the floating harbor to Bristol's Arnolfini. There we've got two major, major exhibitions. We'll talk about it a little bit more then. It's about a 10 minute walk that way across the harbor to Spike Island. It's a fantastic, beautiful night, a bit nippy, but hey, that's the price of art. So while I'm walking over to Spike Island from Arnolfrini, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about the history. It used to be a warehouse. It was founded by a group of artists uh, back in the 70s. And as they grew, they purchased studio spaces, shared those studio spaces, and now it's this really successful, wonderful place. In my opinion, they're the best representation of international art in Bristol. So they bring in artists from America, from different cultures, and they show their work in their beautiful exhibition hall. <laughs> I just arrived at Arnolfini, and just by like two seconds, I missed the firing of the trebuchet, but check this out. And so for those of you who were paying attention, this is artist Candace Lynn. She talks a lot about colonialism, materialism, and what it means to come over and be experienced. Wow, how fantastic was that? We're here with Joss. Hi. Hi Joss, thanks for talking to us. That's a pretty intense set of unique art objects in there. Yeah, it is. So what are your thoughts on it? How did it make you feel? And what were some highlights? For you? I think the highlights and the things that like really gripped me most were these flesh creatures on the floor that were sort of half decaying, half kind of there. As and I think the reason why they gripped me is is just that they are so beautifully disgusting. And yeah. I think it's something really interesting within the art world, seeing the beauty and the like just really cool stuff that happens when things start to decay. Yeah. Um, and then the film, can you tell me a little bit about how it's some of your reflections? I don't like to view films necessarily within an opening. I, I loved it and I skipped through a little bit, but there was there's people and I want to be there quietly with, it, with myself and the film and connect with it properly. So if people did want to come see your films just for any reason, is there a place that they could go find it? Yeah, they could. It's um, My website is um, www.jocelynbrett.com. Yeah. Cool. Thank nice you very much. You, man. Nice yeah. to speak you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. And now we're going to do the 10 minute walk back over the water to Arnolfini, where we're going to see Paula Reggio and Donna Huanca. Arnolfini uh, is a gallery in central Bristol. They've got this huge, beautiful stone building, which we were just outside. Uh, and they also start, they started as a collection of artists as well. But as they grew, they started putting on more and more shows but on this walk is actually the legit studios of Ardman you know creators of Wallace and Gromit, Shaun the Sheep and all these other fantastic things so part of the creative fabric that makes up Bristol is this huge movie studio that's just right here on the harbor side that's Ardman Studios right there I'll take you up to the window you can see the big Wallace and Gromit inside 
I'm just here outside Arnolfini and I'm about to go in to see this fantastic exhibition of Paula Dame and her figurative works uh, and Donna Huaca's installation. Turns out not allowed to do filming without the express written permission of the artist. I've been told I can go in there and uh, do photographs. I'm gonna go back in now, get some photos, check out the work for myself and uh, stay with me. See you on the other side. Seeing uh, Paula's work in person is, is um, it's kind of hard to talk about actually. It's just so um, emotive and powerful and really captures some, some painful things, some beautiful things. She's proof that sometimes art can change the world. That's somebody who's made a difference. It's been a fantastic night of art, people, uh, celebration of beauty and horror and where those two overlap. You know, please click subscribe. It'd mean the world to us. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. I've been Doug. This is Keep Art World. This is Keep Art It. And that's exactly what you should do. Thanks.